Uh, my name is Roland Sands. I'm from Long Beach, California. Motorcycle builder, designer, and lover of all things two wheels. I've kind of been involved in motorcycles my whole life, but started as a designer when I was probably like 18 years old, which is about the time I started racing too. So I was in parallel racing motorcycles and designing custom Harley parts for my dad. And uh, that just kind of took its, you know, things took their own path. And I was able, I was really fortunate to be able to apply what I learned in racing to design and also what I learned in design, maybe to racing as well, you know, it's kind of like a work ethic thing. I've had an opportunity to see and work on a lot of different projects, so I have a pretty vast amount of, uh, a wide range of experience that I can apply to a lot of different things. And um, I'm really fortunate that, that I was able to grow up that way and uh, see as many things as I did, you know. As far as like learning how to design, it was really just being around design, I guess my whole life. and being around the shop, being around manufacturing and knowing what, how to design to be, to make things manufacturable. You know, it was kind of like this natural thing that I was just around, so I sucked it up and it just became part of how I saw things, you know? So it was like, I saw something and I'm like, oh, you know, we, this is how we can make that. And me and my dad used to talk about it all the time. It'd be like, this is what we wanted to make and we'd figure out how to make it. You know, how would we produce that? Is it producible? That's not the type of lesson that you can really learn um, in school, I don't think. And I missed out on school pretty much completely, so I just went straight to the school of life and uh, it worked out well for me. There's been very few bikes that have left this shop that I haven't, uh, you know, ridden hard or, or tried to ride harder than the guy who's going to own the bike because when it goes out, I want to make sure that it's. Um, I want to make sure it's solid, that it's rock solid, and it's not going to come back because the guy's not happy with how it works. They, people always ask me, they do, they always ask me, like, what's your favorite bike? And it really just depends on my mood at the time or what kind of riding I want to do. Um, I mean, the most, my favorite bike that we've done recently is probably the Caselli bike because it was a pretty fresh twist on a motocross, on a modern motocross bike. You know, it was a project that. I was able to work with some great people on. It benefited Kurt's foundation, you know, and that was all, to me, everything that makes like a project great, you know? You have great people involved. It's about way more than just us. It's about more than just us building a motorcycle. And when a project has that type of reach and gets to new people and we can educate people about the foundation um, and kind of create a love for motorcycling, um, probably from the outside a little bit too because it's like that motorcycle I think it, it touched a lot of people in different ways you know that probably aren't normally touched by custom motorcycles. Motorcycles have always been uh, they weren't just like it's not just to go ride and like the feeling of freedom and you know that whole thing um, a lot of times it's about hanging out with your friends and your family and you know like going for a motorcycle ride is just an excuse to get together with your boys and and go just escape for a little while, you know? And you get to share that with one of your friends. I like to go ride with my dad, you know? We go and just kind of ride sometimes. Um, it's just, it's a good thing. It's a good, th I don't know, it's good for your soul, you know? It's good for my soul, for sure. Um, it reminds me why I do what I do. Um, and it reminds me why people love what we do, why people love the products we produce, or, or why they care about our brand or my name or you know all the stuff we do because sometimes I'm just like why does anyone give a fuck about what I do I don't you know like I'm bored with me <laughs> and like I'm over me so why does why do other people care um, but it's cool you know because motorcycles tell you why that is um, a natural love for it I think just I, I, I hope that comes through with with the projects that we do and people see that